I know in the villages, the towns, and the cities where we're constantly surrounded by so many people, a crowd at every single corner, that there are still so many that are slipping beneath the cracks that feel alone and they feel broken, as if God is silent that he is not speaking in the time when they need him most. But my friends, it is now in these moments that we can see that God draws near to the brokenhearted, and he is close to those who are contrite in spirit. So in any and every circumstance, do not allow Satan to deceive you. Do not allow the enemy, the evil one, to twist your mind into thinking that God is aloof and distant when all the while he is not more than a prayer away. That he will speak to you. God desires for us to hear his voice clearly, for us not to think that we are alone. Because it is in these places where we can feel the presence of God, where we know that he is right beneath us our feet that he is before us and behind us to our right and to our left. That the very desire of God is that he would be so intimate and personal with you and I that his presence would reside in our spirit. God has a plan for your life. He has a purpose for you. Do not be led astray by your feelings, by your emotions. And if you're depressed, Whatever God is calling you to do, do it depressed. Do it overwhelmed. Do it anxiously. Do it fearfully, but do it because God is greater than the one who stands against you. The God who is faithful to send his son to die on the cross, to be beaten so brutally and laid down his life for you is the same God who is faithful to raise him from the grave and the greatest enemy of every single person in this world, the very enemy of death God has conquered through Jesus. See, when you feel broken, when you feel alone, we must remind ourselves that that God stepped down and was broken and felt alone for you and I. That it prophesied when they would strike the shepherd, the sheep would scatter. Upon that cross, Jesus said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. And he said, into your hands I commit my spirit. You are not alone. You can lift up your voice and cry out to that God because he hears you. Your earnest plea is like a fragrant offering, an aroma that is pleasing to him. And it is lifted up and poured out in bold before his throne. He is with you. Remind yourself of the God that you serve. The one who is faithful in the past, is faithful in the present, and will be faithful in the future. Nothing can shake his power.